What would Jim Zecca say? <laughs> da, da, da. I love it. When asked, when asked the question, do you think Trump will really step down after getting elected as he answered that question quite uh, mysteriously uh, with the New York Times. When asked that question, Zeka's answer is hogwash. Trump will never quit. <laughs> <laughs> and therein lies yet another edition of What Would Jim Zeka Say? <laughs> uh, here is, uh, <laughs> glad to see we're working in, in uh, sync here. Andy. Yes, thank you. Uh, here's Nagel. Good morning, Nagel. How are you? Uh, which mic am I going to get you on? Let's put Four. you on that one there. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. So we are, are, are we are rewarding you this morning. For yes, your I'm so psyched. Perseverance and uh, making your way in here with beer each and every week. And, and how apropos that you get a frosty mug of beer, and that is an actual fireworks display from the people at Majestic Fireworks. Now, there's a handle on this beer. <laughs> I don't think you hold this. No, no, no. Okay. no very Although important. they have one, they have one that's a sword. That you will hold, and you're really? allowed to hold. And I've I've got one. I've got. I'll bring it in tomorrow. But it's a sword, and you can hold it, and it shoots the sparks from the sword. That is so cool. Pretty epic. Kind of like a Star Wars type. Thing yeah, or like a you know, mm-hmm. Game of Thrones or mm-hmm. whatever. I'll mention as well. The other uh, container is just some Old Spice. We got you some Old Spice. Does that look like an old <laughs> bottle of Old Spice <laughs> or hot sauce? Trying to tell me something? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Nagel, uh, each week brings us in our brew of the week, and um, we're just seeing this is such a hot, the craft beer movement is enormous uh, in New York State right now. Mm-hmm. And what have you uh, what have you brought in here today? Well, i got a New York State brewery, Adirondack Brewing Company, again out of Lake George, New York, and their new uh, summer package, which is their lake mix, which is where I want to be today. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. I can't, but... Uh, it is uh, four different delicious beers uh, to enjoy on nice hot summer days like today. Um, we're trying the Hefeweizen. Okay, tell me about that. All right. Well, it is a wheat-based beer, uh, kind of cloudy, not really filtered uh, all that well, leaves a little bit more flavor in there, and uh, has just light hints of bananas and cloves, um, not because bananas and cloves are used in the brewing My process. God, I can taste that. Yeah. It's just uh, it's a byproduct of the fermentation process, so. Very lo- interesting how uh, yeah. that happens and, uh, and how you get these flavors mm-hmm. when they're, the ingredients don't include them. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh, there's no bananas in this beer. Yeah, it's sort of like synergy. Yeah, really cool. Andrew? I love, you- I love that Hefeweizen. That's one of my favorite types of beers. I was first introduced to it working at a German restaurant. So I think a lot of Germans drink Hefeweizen, right? Yes. And they drink their beer warm mm-hmm. in a lot of cases, right? Well, well that's a case in, uh, in, well, probably in, all in, Europe, in, you know. in European yeah. countries, right? Yeah, um, their beer is often less carbonated than ours and uh, served on a, I mean, not room temperature, but a little more than 38 degrees. Do you know their butter? If you buy butter in, um, and it might have been a story I saw in the OD where uh, it was a really good story the Observer Dispatched it. Mm-hmm. And it was what should go in the refrigerator and what shouldn't. I think it was in last week's Sunday paper or something. And they went through the whole listing of Items like uh, for us, butter has mm-hmm. to go in the refrigerator. Sure, eggs must go in the in the refrigerator. But um, maybe it was the eggs in in, uh, in European countries. When when you get the egg, they don't wash the egg. Correct. In the United States, we wash the eggs. God forbid you have a little you know dung mm-hmm. on an egg. You don't want any of that. <laughs> so, but they don't wash. But there's a protective coating on the egg. Mm-hmm. So in Great Britain and in uh, countries uh, European countries. Um, probably third world countries too. Uh, the eggs can be left right out on the counter. Mm-hmm. Here we got to put them in the fridge. I have an argument with someone. I can't remember who, but do you keep your ketchup in the fridge? I don't. No. I do. Oh. do you? So I do. Yes, yeah, I do. You do. But I know people who don't. Like I like the I like the ketchup when it gets that black stuff ring around the top. That to me is just delicious. That's concentrated. Ketchup. That it's a, yeah, yeah. That is so good. That is, it has a little banana taste. I believe there's uh, something to do with the uh, chemical reaction there. Uh, why do you put your fr- your your ketchup in the fridge? I don't know. Just force it. You like you it cold? Don't. I don't. We kept we leave butter out. Uh, and my wife has a big deal with that, so we don't anymore. Hmm. Okay. Um, but I always used to leave butter out. And Well, yeah, uh, because it's a pain in the butt to spread if you don't. Oh, right. my God. Try putting that on toast. Oh, my gosh. You break the bread. Yeah, especially if you had a nice Italian bread, a nice fluffy mm. Italian bread. It just rips the stuff to shreds. Yeah, it probably does. Yeah. You know, ketchup and condiments like that, I usually, you know, 
we leave them in the cupboard until we open them. Once they're open, we do put right. them in the fridge. Right. But that's everything. Mm-hmm. I mean, you everything yeah, you have oh, yeah. open. But, like but milk. I, <laughs> like your milk. The minute we open that milk, then it goes uh, then in it the goes fridge. In the well, so are you saying the ketchup, once you've opened the ketchup, you do put it in the no, fridge? I leave no, it you out. don't. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, most restaurants leave it out. Yeah. Uh, I Good guess point. That's true. Yeah, that's yeah, true. That's true. Yeah. You know who has the best ketchup? If it's not Heinz, I don't agree with Well, that. you might be surprised here. Is Ocean Blue has a ketchup. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That yeah. don't even get me started on that. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. What's the story here? First this, of all, Dallas almost broke up with me over first this. First of all, the <laughs> Shh. Okay. Well, first of all, the ketchup day. has no the ketchup has no high, high fructose corn syrup, mm. which is big for my wife. Yeah. <laughs> and I forget the name of the ketchup that they use, but it is good. It's different than Heinz and I'm a Heinz guy too. But um, there's no high fructose corn syrup, uh, syrup. It's actual sugar. And the taste of the ketchup is, Andrew, you have to admit, Andrew. It is good. It is It is really good. So um, that's can, Ocean I, Blue. Check I have two it out. friends from Pittsburgh that are probably driving here right now. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm a, I'm a Heinz Blue. guy. I am. And I, although I've always loved Del Monte, but it's not the same. It was bought by a different company and mm-hmm. it doesn't taste the same. Anyway, we're supposed to be talking about beer. I know. I don't Tangents. know what the hell happened. Uh, okay, so this again is a, again it's a German it's a German, it's a German style. style. Yep, it probably uses an American yeast. To, but, yeah, all right. Um, <clears throat> that's very good, and it I'm does have some of those flavors that aftertaste. Yeah, though. and it's lighter than a, a lot of Hefeweizens mm-hmm. can be very overpowering, um, very in your face banana, and and very uh, uh, lingering clove flavor on the finish. But this is very mild, nice for summer. Um, also in this package is the very, very popular Tangerine Dream. Now, does that actually have... Uh, yes, it's aged on uh, Tangerine Peels. Peels, yeah. Yep. So he, I like he buys that them a lot. straight from Florida. They come up and uh, he puts them in the bright tank. We've tasted that tank. one and that's a, that's a good beer. This mix is. is a... This whole lake mix is really good. Yep. And then uh, to finish it out, two hoppy varieties. Uh, Dirty Blonde, which is a uh, kind of a golden blonde ale with... It's, it's extensively dry hop, so it has a nice uh, citrusy finish to it. And his... Uh, the regular Iroquois IPA, uh, that's a big IPA, 7% alcohol. So something, as the sun goes down, you want to get into those higher octane beers. All right, to fire. Matt, this, uh, this, this mug, this fireworks mug that we've given uh, Nagel is literally, it's, uh, it's a giant mug, and you light it, you set it down, and you light it, and it, will, uh, it goes off pretty well. It's a real cool display from the people at Majestic, by the way, now legal to shoot them off anytime, Fantastic. but you can purchase them during the uh, 4th of July and New Year's. Uh, the period's there, and uh, it's for you. That's our gift. Yeah, thank you for thinking of me. All right. Got a break. Cold tank. Coming right back. 840 at WIBX.